Welcome to Presentable Liberty. This is a short game where you're stuck in a jail cell. Beyond that, I don't know anything about it. It's completely free and I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Let's begin. I've played it for a couple minutes, and I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be humorous or not. It's really hard to tell. So, from what I've been able to gather, you keep getting letters underneath the door. A lot of letters. An incredible amount of letters. Just like a constant flood of letters. Which leads me to believe that perhaps time is not passing quite as slowly as this clock might suggest. That or maybe there's thousands and thousands of people that really want to talk to me because the letters never end. Just constant letters. My dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. How is prison life going for you? I know it must be hard, especially in times like these. As for me, I will soon start another of my journeys into the unknown. Wish me luck. Salvador the Traveler. And there's more and more letters, and I have no idea what this thing is. Like, what What even is that? Are those loose wires going into a hole in the wall? Are those the legs of, like, a tiny person going through a hole in the wall? I can't tell. Friend, I hope you aren't feeling too lonely in that dark cell. Just in case, I've put a little bug friend for you in the envelope alongside this letter. Salvador. Thank you for the bug friend, Salvador. And this is why I can't tell whether this game is supposed to be humorous or not. Because on one hand, I am trapped in a jail cell. On the other hand, I have a little bug friend. It's cute. I should give it a name. I know, I'll call it Buggy, because I'm creative like that. Aw, wants to hide under the bed, okay. Good day, we are happy to inform you that you have been selected by me, Dr. Money, to join an exclusive program for inmates all over the country. We have noticed that due to the recent outbreak of a terrible virus, the population of our beautiful nation has started dwindling. This is unfortunate, but there is still hope. You. I love the fact that the doctor was, like, too dumb to realize that if you want to send a long message, you should maybe write on the back of the note, and then maybe put multiple notes in one envelope. But instead, it's like, you know what, uh, I'm going to use this huge font, and it doesn't really fit everything I want to say, so I'm just going to send it in a bunch of envelopes and just keep shoving them under the door. Recent studies show that 98% of our great nation's population is already infected with the virus. Incidentally, many of the remaining 2% are prison inmates like you. We hope that you continue to be vigilant and remain healthy. In order to fight depression and suicidal thoughts in the dire situation you have found yourself in, you will be assigned your own personal happy buddy TM. Enjoy. Hello, hello, hello. I am your personal happy buddy TM. I have a present for you. Five confetti poppers. Have fun. So there is actually an inventory system. Where's Buggy? You still under the bed, Buggy? Come on, I want you to see the popper. You'll like it, I promise. I wish I could crouch. I can't. Where's Buggy? Aww. Oh, even my bug friend left me. <sighs> I guess I'll enjoy the confetti alone.
there's Boogie. You know, this jail cell actually isn't too bad. Hello, my buddy friend, buddy. Did you enjoy the confetti? If so, I have another present for you. It's a Dr. Money portable entertainment machine. Game included. Have lots of fun. I get to play a game within a game. Let's play Serpent. Also, this thing apparently has no battery power whatsoever, according to the indicator in the top right. So this is pretty much as far as I played this game on my own. I didn't quite finish this little mini-game. Because it's really difficult, actually. The controls are horrible for controlling this snake thing, this, this serpent. They're really bad. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, just made it. Alright, this is, this is where I stopped. I was never able to complete this level. Mm. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's really, really hard. Um, it's getting darker with every tick of the clock behind me. Uh oh. Is that bad? This thing is sadistically hard to control. Getting awfully dark. Oh, I have to go to bed. Well, I'll play it some other time. I noticed too that the door out there. And one you can see right there, it looks like a normal door. Like, it looks like a house door. Almost as if this is a jail cell in someone's house. Like, I'm someone's... Like, pet or something. My dear friend, I've started my journey in the Far East, with no clear goal in mind. On the road, I met a nice woman who gave me directions to the nearest lake. You know how much I like swimming. Do I? Friend, this lake is beautiful. It's so peaceful and quiet here. Have you ever been so alone that you cannot convince yourself of the fact that other people exist anymore? Well, no, I haven't because people keep sending me letters and they never stop. Friend, I have a present for you. It's a painting that always reminds me of the spirit of travel. I hope it will liven up your cell a little bit. Yes, it's quite beautiful. Hey buddy, how you doing? If you're feeling down, maybe a song will help. La la hap. Oh, okay. It's not funny. That was fun, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. I hope you keep a song in your heart always. For you are smart and kind and important. Sure. Good day, Mr. Smiley. That's my name. <laughs> my name is Mr. Smiley. Okay. We have noticed that you have not met your happiness quota yet. Remember. You will only get to see your daughter again if you manage to lower the suicide rates in prison. Okay. Dear Blank. 
We may have accidentally sent you a letter addressed to a certain Mr. Smiley. We want you to know that this mistake has been rectified and that your happy buddy really does like you and is your best friend... Purely because you are so friendly. What's so funny? How are you doing? Well, I'm still in jail. I'm feeling so great. You are my bestest, friendliest, happy friend in the whole wide world. The world isn't so wide from where I'm standing. friend. If my calculations are correct, then, th then this letter will arrive at your cell around bedtime. I hope those prison beds are comfortable. Good night, friend. Okay. How could you know that this would arrive around bedtime? That's an awfully precise calculation. Aren't you somewhere in the Far East or something? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I sure did. Hooray. I slept like hours ago. What are you talking about? To celebrate the occasion of you getting up, I have sent you a second game for your portable entertainment product. Thanks. I still want to finish Serpent. So hard to control. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate this game. Let's try the other one. Fear of fire, that sounds nice. I guess I just have to avoid the flames? And then, let me guess, they're gonna multiply after the timer? Yeah, I thought so. Well, it seems easy. How hard could it get? I guess it depends on how many levels there are. I don't even need to move. Oh god, they're special ones. Let me guess, they... Oh, crap. They track you or something? Or maybe they're just bigger? I'm just gonna stay in the corner. That was a bad idea. Don't stay in the corner. Level 9. How many levels are there? Oh, the trails of flame that they leave also kill me. That's what's special about them. And they also seem to be a little bit larger. the point of me playing this game? I have no idea. Oh, 
forget this game. Friend, I've decided to head north, which is, as you know, my, fra my favorite cardinal direction to head. On the way, I passed by a very interesting river. A sign next to it said that the water changes the direction it is flowing in around this... It is flowing in around this time of year. Okay. Fascinating, wouldn't you say, friend? I must stay here and witness the change occurring. My curiosity is just too tremendous to resist the temptation. As much as I enjoy vast landscapes and new locations to explore, sometimes in life, one must appreciate the little things. Indeed. I have another present for you. It's a poster to remind you to always keep a smile on your face. Well, I'll be having nightmares about that tonight. Good day. I don't think you know me. But from what I've heard, it seems that you and I are the last people in this town who are still not infected with the virus. Oh my god, this person also doesn't know how to put multiple letters or use small fonts or small writing in one thing. I am the owner of a pastry shop not far from where your cell is. But as I don't want to get infected, I cannot sell my pastries to anyone anymore. Except you. I would really appreciate it if you could come visit me sometime, and maybe have a cup of tea. Okay, I'm, I'm in a jail. How am I going to visit you? By the way, my name is... Charlotte? I'm not sure. It's a really flowery font. Nice to meet you. But you didn't meet me. You just sent me, a, like, five letters. My dearest companion... The river's change in direction was quite interesting to see. This is exactly what I love about, about my travels. You always get to see new and amazing things. I'm very sorry if I came off as too eager in my last letters to you. A fact is, I haven't really had much contact with people anymore lately. Please forgive me if I made you feel uncomfortable. Hope you're enjoying your two games. They were very... They were expensive, you know. Oh, okay. Please don't be sad. I'm not sad, I'm just confused. I know it must be hard. All alone in a prison cell, but you must remain happy. I would be happy if you gave me better controls for the games you sent me. Please. It has come to our attention that your happy buddy has shown signs of not behaving in an excited and happy manner. If you wish to have your happy buddy replaced, please just send us a letter, and we will get rid of him. How can I send you a letter? I don't have any paper. Or a pen. I heard that some people are reporting their happy buddies to Dr. Money. You know what happens to them, right? Do you? You wouldn't do that to me, would you? I can't do that to you. I can't send a letter to anyone. I can't possibly report you. No one even visits my cell. I'm sorry I haven't gotten you another game yet. I just don't have the money for it at the moment. I'm so sorry. I don't think you are. Game time! Which one? Let's do Serpent. <sighs> oh, oh, don't jinx it! Oh. <clears throat> I'm sure this looks stupid. Like, you might be wondering, how hard could it really be to control this thing? The answer is very hard.
It's it's not like the traditional kind of snake thing where you can only head in four directions. You can't just head in the cardinal directions. You can go completely diagonal if you want to. And if, when you press up and down and left and right, it doesn't instantly go in that direction. It starts to turn towards that direction. It's really bad. It's really bad. It's incredibly confusing. <sighs> I gotta beat this level before I have to go to sleep. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck this game. Friend. If your bug friend... Is your bug friend keeping you company? Have you given him a name? I have. You should. And do you remember how he used to sit by the fireside? Carving chess pieces out of wood without a care in the world? That was a long time ago. My wood carving skills have gotten significantly worse, but I still tried to make you something to make you feel less lonely. It's the leg of a table I'm making for you. I know that might not be the most extravagant project, but I hope you like it anyways. Why would you send me the leg of a table? What? Do you expect me to assemble it piece by piece? What the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? How am I going to assemble it? I don't have any tools, I don't have any glue. What would I even need a table for? I have nothing to put on it. It's a nice evening, isn't it? I hope you have a nice sleep. It's not evening. What are you talking about? I just woke up. It's in the morning. At least my happy buddy knows it's morning. I have some very, very good news for you. Oh, what's that? I got you a new game with the last of my money. This one's a real blast. Have fun. Oh, thank you. Let's see what it is. Piteous Moonlight. That doesn't sound happy. Oh, I have to keep pressing up to flap. Otherwise, I just fall down if I do nothing. Okay, seems easy. Actually, I take that back. The controls for this are just as bad as the freaking serpent thing. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so awkward to control. It's like I'm trying to play a... It's like I'm trying to play a first-person shooter with a joystick. And I don't mean, like, the stick on a controller, which already would be pretty bad, but I mean, like, a joystick used to control a plane. While having one hand tied behind my back. And blindfolded. <gasps> oh god, no. No. Don't worry about my spending all my money. I'm okay. Just stay happy for me, for the love of all that is holy. Stay happy. They're watching. The world has become such a quiet place. So many people are dying. I watch them choke to death from my pastry shop's window. Dr. Money has started selling some kind of antidote, but I don't trust him. I will not leave my shop, as much as the loneliness pains me. I need to remain here.
how are you doing? I've been busy carving the second leg for your table. May you eventually put a tabletop on it. I'm starting to feel a little homesick. Perhaps it is time to end my journey? Thanks for the other leg, buddy. How do I go to the bathroom? There's no bathroom in here. And I never eat. Hey, buggy. How you doing? Still hiding under the bed. He's shy. Which horrible game do I want to play? Let's try this one. At least it actually saves my progress. Level 14. I bet there's like special points where if you just stay in one spot, you'll be fine. Let's try staying on the bottom of the screen and see what happens. Ah! Some of these fire things are shooting fire at me. Yeah, I just died from somebody shooting fire at me. Freaking spellcasters. Damn mages! I bet there's no end to this. There's probably no end. Level 17? This is by far the easiest game. Is it actually randomized? Or do they all start at the same spot? It is randomized, okay. I mean, they might start at the same spot, but they seem to move in a different direction. Level 20? Is this perhaps the last one? Congratulations for completing this game. A valuable batch has been placed in your vicinity. Cool. There have been incidents of people getting upset about how hard the games for Dr. Money's portable entertainment product are. That does not surprise me. Please do remember, it's not about those games, it's about happiness. I found this poster in my attic. I thought it might cheer you up. Then again, it's not very cheerful. Maybe you want it anyway, though. No, that, that really doesn't cheer me up. Dear Blank, Dr. Money is taking time off his busy schedule to personally tell you that everything is fine. And did you get the doctor's message? I'm increasingly concerned by the way he's ignoring the people's obvious suffering. The antidote he was talking about has only been... Uh, is only being sold as a uh, at a ludicrous price. That does not mean well. Or he does not mean well, rather. You don't say. I bet there's ten levels to this fucking thing. <sighs> the controls to this are so bad. Friend, 
The third leg of the table is finished. Hurrah! I've also started my long journey back to my hometown. I would say I will probably arrive around tomorrow morning. Looking forward to seeing some familiar faces. Oh, thank God. Alright, and this one's all about smooth movement. Wonderful. The doctor has lowered the price of the antidote. However, it seems to cause various vital organs to fail. People are now not only dying from the virus, but... Also from the doctor's cure. I am terrified. Maybe you should report this person to the police, although I'm guessing the police are probably dead. Most of my cakes have gone bad. I just hope all this is over soon. I'm not sure how long I can live all alone. I wish I could come visit you. Let's try a different one. Whoops, not that one. I hope you are getting these letters. I'm guessing you just can't respond. Do letters still get delivered in times like these? I hope so. Are you even still alive? Friend! This one gave me some problems, but your fourth table leg is all done now. The last part will be there shortly. Salvador, the master woodworker. Hey, buggy. Ah, yes, you have masterfully crafted these rick tangles of wood. Beautiful engineering, my friend. Are you okay? Apparently more and more inmates are killing themselves. Please don't do that, and for your sake and mine. Uh, please don't do that for your sake and mine. What? Do you get terminated if I terminate myself? You are supposed to keep me happy after all, aren't you? My dear friend, my good night present to you will be the tabletop. Now you finally have something to put stuff on in your cell. I hope you actually have stuff to put on it. It just so happens I don't. Thanks. <sighs> I think I was actually going to win that one.
friend. My journey has come to an end. As you know, I do not have a family to come home to. But that's not what matters to me. I'm just looking forward to the smell of my hometown. Where is everyone? I don't know, you tell me, I'm in jail. Morning! I sold my house and my food in one of my lungs, but don't worry. I spent the money on another game for you. Yay! Have fun, be happy. Thanks! Triangle Wars. Oh, is this an endless runner? It is. Well, this seems easy. It's probably going to get extremely fast. What is what is this? When I press right, it does my triangle like does a thing. What, what is it doing? Oh, I can crouch. I don't know if that makes me go fast. No, it doesn't make me go faster. Okay, well I can do a thing. I can jump and I can crouch. Yeah, it's easy. Crouch, jump, jump, jump. Okay, I need to jump a little bit later. Oh, it's like a broken thing. That's what I need to do that for. Okay. Holy crap, this is hard. Okay. These streets used to be so lively. Now they're just silent. I have this old gramophone in my basement. Perhaps it's time to break the silence? Oh, I thought maybe you were going to give me a gramophone. I still have nothing to put on my table. Do you know what's going on out here? The virus? The organs? The blood? Is this going to be like 28 days later? Going to wake up out of my jail cell instead of the hospital and everybody's going to be Zumbaloomba ding dongs? Mistakes were made. I, Dr. Money, want to personally apologize for any inconveniences that might have arisen from the virus of our creation. Please accept this framed picture of money as consolation. Thanks.
People are dying. Their organs are failing because of an antidote for the virus. And everyone is infected. I wonder if I am too. There seems to be a huge market for working organs now. Dr. Money has a big supply, and everyone is rushing to the stores and spending all, all their money. But those organs are not what they seem. Well, my happy buddy apparently sold one of his organs to pay for stuff. Anyone who uses the doctor's organs dies a couple hours later. Where do they come from? What are they? Does it even matter anymore? Are you infected too, friend? I don't know, probably. Hey, buggy. How much of the outside world can you hear in- What'd you think of the song, Buggy? Yeah. Could you hear it from up there? I turned it up extra loud for you. There's no better time than times than these for a little music. And yes, I feel lonely. Or, and yet, I feel lonely. I think that's a T? I don't know. Flowery writing does not sit well with my brain. Of course I could play the music again. But is it worth it? It will never be the same magical moment again. Magical? If you can play music from down there, why didn't you just like yell up? So I could hear your voice. That one moment in between all of the dreary ones. This can't go on forever. I don't know, you guys, look, you guys can just fight over organs and antidotes out there. I'm just gonna play Triangle Wars, okay? See? Easy peasy. I don't even know how many people are dead. I'm afraid to look. I can only see what's outside my window. And I see nothing but blood. I think I'm alone. You can only see what's outside your window. What do you mean? You just went underneath my window, right? And played music, so you went out into the streets? What are you talking about? Everyone is dead. You're not dead. I'm not dead. The city's lights are going out. The town has no electricity anymore. The only lights I see are coming from the prison. Oh, that's good. So they can keep my clock running then. Unless this thing runs on batteries. One more day. I still don't know what that's supposed to be, but I swear it looks like two spindly legs of some sort of miniature person crawling through a hole in the wall. That's all I see.
Jesus Christ. Tomorrow evening. Until then, you must come here. Or does that say until? Is that a you? I don't know. I will wait here. If you can't make it, well, I fear this world has no place for me anymore. I'm in prison. How am I supposed to? It's a lot of responsibility to place on me. I'm awaiting your arrival. Until then, here's a cake I made for you. <laughs> that noise. I hope you like it. I did. Did you hear that wonderful music? I tried to head in its direction, but it was over too quickly. I'm so tired. I'll just go sleep in some empty apartment around here. God knows there's enough of those now. I need to see you again, friend. You're probably still in that cell, all alone. Tomorrow I will come visit you. But first, let us rest, friend. Buddy, are you playing your games? Are you happy? The answer to those respectively are yes and no. I am happy, but tired. Sleepy buddy sleep, or sleep buddy sleep, or whatever the hell that said. Tomorrow it will all end. Yay. Is this the day you sell my organs? Goody goody morning, all good, all fine, I don't care. I am not your friend, I was never your friend, Dr. Money was blackmailing me, he kidnapped my daughters. Okay. He told me they were safe, he told me they would be okay as long as I kept you happy. But he lied. My daughters are dead. They died from the virus two days ago. I never even got to say goodbye. But to you, I will. You cannot lose hope, as I now have. I have another game for you. I don't have the money for such expenses, but there's a huge market for organs now. I have already sold one of my lungs yesterday, and now I will finish what I've started. I signed for them to take all of my organs. Money up front. I will not survive the procedure, of course, but that's not important. You are one of the only ones left who are still healthy. Please don't lose hope. I hope you enjoy the game. I doubt it because it isn't fun. Like, seriously, not at all. I hope you keep going anyway. Always keep going. Don't give up like me. You never know how much more, more time you have. 
Goodbye. Crank Master. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I'm just supposed to keep cranking in the same direction? Using WASD? So if you hold... yeah. So if you hold down D, which is, you know, the right direction, it makes the little red thing go to the right. If you hold down S, which is down, it makes it go down, so you just keep kind of alternating between those to keep it going in a circle. But there's no penalty for stopping, because if you stop, it just... The progress bar just stays, so you can do it in stages like this. This is horrible. It really is not fun. It has come to our attention that your happy buddy has stopped talking to you. We would like to remind you that you are loved and that you must remain happy. game is far more interesting than Crank Masters. You are worth every penny. Okay. Press the wrong key. This, this town is dead. There's no life left in it. I'm walking through these streets all alone. I'm on my way. If there's no one left, then how are these le letters being delivered? I think I'm close to your prison. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. You being in that cell all this time, you must still be alive, right?
I might be writing to a dead man. That thought is kind of scary. I will not give up, though. A little virus won't kill you now, will it? Well, it killed everyone else, so yeah, it pr probably would. Listen, we have noticed that you are being contacted by someone with a measurably free spirit. We would like you to ignore all of his letters from now on. Why don't you just not deliver the letters? Why, why, why? Nothing makes any sense. You are being taken care of. You are being protected from the virus and the horrors of the outside world. Do not forget, you are a prisoner. I think there's one more level to go. Oh, no, there's more than 20 levels, apparently. Or wait, maybe I need to... Maybe this is the 20th level? I guess this is the 20th level. I think I can see your prison from here. Maybe one or two hours now. I can't wait. And once I'm there, I will release you from your prison. And this friend of yours, Salvador, he cannot be here. I do not appreciate the way he talks. I do not appreciate the way he's talking about freedom to you. This is no joke. Cease all contact with this Salvador. I'm not contacting him. I'm not doing anything. I'm just... You're shoving the letters in here. Friend, I've arrived. Where's your cell? Where are these letters being sent to? I cannot seem to even enter the building. All the doors are locked. I broke in, but the elevator won't come, and there are no stairs. It seems that I have no way of getting to however high you are up. There must be a way. <laughs> Wait, you wrote a letter to me after you broke into the building? How did you send it to me? Did you just, like, walk over to a security guard? It's like, I know I broke in, but could you please just post this up to my friend? It's getting late, friend. Maybe I don't have to get up there. Have to get up there. Maybe. Maybe you could come down here? You know, this building you were in was never supposed to be a prison. There are no cells on the bottom floor. And looking at the plans, there are no cells here anywhere. Dr. Money must have repurposed the building for locking you up. But why would he do that? It seems so arbitrary. I know, it just looks like a normal house, looking at the door over there. I'm guessing how I'm gonna get out of here is probably related to whatever this is. But no matter. What matters is that the lock on your cell door is powered by electricity, which means that if I manage to destroy the prison's generator, you will be free to leave, friend. Are you coming?
Please tell me that you'll come. I'm so lonely. I'm sorry, friend. What, you killed yourself and then po somehow sent the letter to me? And covered it in your own blood? Like, what? How- huh? How is that even possible? Kind of a cart before the horse sort of thing. Or chicken before the egg sort of thing? I I'm not quite sure. If one killed oneself and bled all over the letter you're going to send, then how was the letter sent? I found the generator, friend. I only need to destroy this and you will be free. Come find me at the entrance, friend. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand once more. Look, I think I'm going to get out of here and everybody's going to be zombies. Your friend tried to destroy the generator. That didn't really work out too well for him, did it? He got electrocuted. Your friend is dead. They all are. How your cell door... And now your cell door may be open. But what do you think leaving will accomplish? This town is dead. You and I are the last ones here. The backup generator only has energy for those red lights. So the door is unlocked now. Just stay in your cell. I will send someone to fix a generator for you. You will be able to keep playing games on your portable entertainment product. Without a care in the world. You will be allowed to do whatever you wish to. On one condition. Do not open that door. <laughs> Press space to open the door. Okay. What if I leave and I use my portable system and play games? Oh, I can't. I can't use it. Man, I was on level 20 of Triangle Wars. I was about to win. Balls. There's totally going to be zombies out there. I guess that connects in my cell. Wait, you're telling me my cell was converted from an elevator? My cell is an elevator. So who was delivering the letters if this is the only way up and down?
Nope, take me back up. Come with me, buggy. pastry shop. And there's a cake in the pastry shop. But wait, cakes aren't pastries. Also, she killed herself. I want to eat the cake. I can't eat the cake. I'm sad. Okay, um, I have no idea what to make of this game. I can't take it, <laughs> I can't even remotely take it seriously, because nothing made any sense. 
and everything was completely ridiculous, but at the same time it wasn't even that funny? I don't really know. But I can say that I've never had an experience like that before in a game. I've, I've never played anything like it. I've no idea what happened, nothing made any sense, but, uh... I got to get to level 20 of Triangle Wars, and I had a bug friend. Um... The end. <laughs>